the San Antonio Spurs heading down to Miami to play the Heat. Right now, the Heat are laying eight points. Uh, Spurs plus 280 on the money line. Total sitting at 226 and a half over on Bet US. Man, I could not. Uh, full game. <laughs> this one feels fairly tricky just because the Heat at home haven't been great. ATS. The Spurs, I don't think I've gotten one, maybe one or two all season. I'm either betting on the Spurs or betting against them. Like, I just can't seem to figure this team out. The spreads are always really big. <clears throat> There's moments where they they show up and they're and they look really fun, and Wemby has a great game, and then they still don't cover. Or you know, a, a game that jumps out at me is when you know they let up 70 points to Embiid, and then they still covered the spread. So I could not pick a game to save my life for the Spurs team. I do think there's some value in some of these alt markets, but Chris, how say you uh, Spurs heat? Yeah, I'm going to play one angle on the Spurs because it's really the only angle that's worked for me on the Spurs this season. And that is Spurs in the first quarter. They've been a good first quarter spread team, uh, actually seven and three ATS in their last 10 away games in the first quarter. And they have a, a pretty decent situational advantage tonight. Haven't played since Saturday, whereas, of course, the Heat are off. Pretty tough fall game last night. I mean, it wasn't, you know, the Magic didn't keep it close, right? But it is a back-to-back. They use a lot of minutes on their bench, kind of spread it all out. If you guys had over 30 minutes. But, yeah, Spurs coming into this game, haven't played since Saturday. And what do you get in the first quarter? You get a lot of Wemby, who's leading the NBA in blocks, by the way. Um, I mean, that kid is is very quickly oh, becoming a force, you know, and, um, you know, figuring out, especially from the five position, right? They kind of had him in the four at first. He moved to the five a lot more. Com- uh, you can just tell that he's a lot more comfortable in that spot. Um, so here comes a Heat team who is off a win. I think they're starting to find their rhythm again. But the Spurs can catch teams early in this one. And the Spurs had a little uh, streak going to end January where they're 11 and three against the spread, and they dropped a few now, one and three in their last four games. So I just think off of all that rest against a team that isn't as well rested, the Spurs can at least show up with some energy at the start of this game. We could, of course, argue, too, that if the Heat are kind of back, right, like the same Heat team that played last night against the Magic, this spread could be even higher. Um, You know, but I think it's at a decent spot. Spurs getting a little bit of respect because of how they've been playing recently. And again, this is a Spurs team that has been good against the spread all year in the first quarter. And then they kind of just play basketball and experiment and do all those other things after that. So uh, I think it's a fairly safe bet. We're getting two and a half points. So I'll take Spurs two and a half in the first quarter. It it does feel like pop has like a basketball science project and he's just like, I'm in, uh, let me, leave me alone. I'm working on something and we'll see what ends up coming out of this. But I mean, Wemby's yeah, it's, it's so hilarious to see NBA guys get blocked and like, he's barely jumping half the time. It's, I I don't know. I I hope he stays healthy because that was, you know, my handicap of him coming in the league is like these dudes that are just this tall and thin. It's like, I, I don't know how you can, you know, withstand a season and how the game's played and whatever, but knock on wood, he's, he's been healthy and maybe he even fills out a little bit more, but certainly a fun, interesting guy to watch him and Chet, uh, just going back and forth. Noobs, how say you on this Spurs, uh, heat matchup. And two teams that I really struggled to handicap. Obviously, I had the Heat wrong last night. Um, I wonder again if this is a down spot. It's a non conference opponent. If there was ever a game to sort of look over, rest some guys after beating a division opponent last night in a really big way, it would be tonight. But at the same time, as Chris mentioned, Popovich is not trying to win basketball games. Uh, and they start their best lineup. They play good for about a quarter and a half, maybe the first half, and then just sort of fold. And it's one of those games where I think it's San Antonio early, it's Miami late, but I'm just not really sure who it is. So I uh, just kind of happy to let this one go. Yeah, fair enough. Miami also on that list of like, man, you know, what, what, like they used to be reliable uh, in certain spots and, you know, both fading them and taking them. And they've been a tough, uh, tough team to handle uh, in the regular season, especially. So I get up for Chris on the Spurs first quarter, plus two and a half, like that angle for the Spurs. 